Hey guys, I got a ton of requests to check my blood sugar after enjoying an Atkins bar, which I wanted to find out on my What I Eat Wednesday. I was just in the car while I was doing it, but I have decided to just make a quick video about what the Atkins peanut butter bar does to my blood sugar. As you know, I eat one of these pretty much daily. They are just really good. They help me stay on the keto diet. And according to the label, there are three net carbs. I kind of rounded up to five just to be safe, but I do include these as part of my diet. So it would be great to understand exactly what it does to my blood sugar. So first I'm gonna test my blood sugar. I've been fasting today. I haven't even had any water. That's not on purpose, but still, uh, I guess I'm just going to have a fasted blood sugar. So let's see what it is this morning. Gotta get that fango ready. Mm, mm, mm. Get that fango, mm, mm. fango with an A. right 70 that's great for me that's pretty much exactly where I normally am in the morning so this is gonna be a great way to see exactly how the Atkins bar affects my blood sugar let's go ahead and give that thing a taste so this is nope <laughs> so this is the Atkins peanut butter bar chocolate peanut butter it has 14 grams of fat 16 grams of protein it has 23 grams of total carbs, so 12 of those are fiber. So that brings us down to 11 for all you math majors out there. And then eight of that is glycerin, which they also subtract. So that leaves us with three net carbs. The label says glycerin is naturally sourced from vegetables and gives our bars a soft texture. Glycerin and fiber should be subtracted from the total carbs since they minimally impact blood sugar. I'll be the judge of that <laughs> but I'm gonna eat this though so I'm gonna eat this and enjoy and I'll check back with you in like an hour okay the time has come the moment of truth is here you guys my hair is just like not cooperating today like oh I'm so over it um what is this stop it Okay, here we go. I'm so nervous. Woo, 94, wow, yikes. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> so that's a 24 point jump in my blood sugar. It's been uh, essentially an hour since I had that Atkins bar. Uh, to be honest, I'm not super excited about that, but I mean, also an Atkins bar is one of the most process things you can really have on the keto diet. So I'm not surprised that it would raise my blood sugar this much. Also in the grand scheme of things, I'm still under a hundred, so that's not too bad. Uh, overall, this was a really interesting experiment. Will this stop me from eating Atkins bars? Absolutely not. But at least I have a better picture of what it's doing to my blood sugar. Thanks so much for watching this video. Leave a suggestion in the comments. Are there any other foods that you would like for me to test? Keep in mind, I will also always be testing my blood sugar as part of my product reviews that are coming up. So that's gonna be really exciting. Anytime I eat a piece of chocolate, some cheese snacks, some nuts, anything like that, I'm always gonna be testing my blood sugar. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. You can also find me on Instagram, at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.